of the things that I miss the most about the air shows are the flying display teams like this. This is the Frecce Tricolori, the Italian Air Force team, and they're flying their Aramaki 339s. Well, soon they're going to have something new to fly. The Leonardo M345 was certificated this May. It's flying now and it's going to be delivered very, very soon to the Italian Air Force. We're joined now on the program by Leonardo's Eduardo Munhos. Eduardo, tell us about this aircraft. Thank you, Thank you Alan, for the opportunity. Well, we are very excited about the 345. You, you mentioned about the campaign. We've been working with that campaign for some time now. We flew the first airplane in the, the end of 2018. We had one full year of flight testing, and now we have the airplane fully certified. We are now fighting to bring contracts home. And it's being delivered to the Italian Air Force right now, isn't it? What sort of size is the order? The total requirement for the Italian Air Force is for 45 airplanes. The plan is to replace all 339s in training and also the 339s for the aerobatic team, Frecce Tricolori. Today we have 18 airplanes on contract and we are working with the Italian Air Force to go up to the maximum. Anyone watching the Frecce Tricolori go through its paces know that you need reliability as well as incredible maneuverability. I guess you've had to push the M345 to demonstrate those aerobatic capabilities. We are very honored to have our airplanes flying with the Frecce Tricolori. It's, uh, it's the Italian flag flying all over the world, showing our product with the Italian flag. It's a combination of technical aspects. It's the airplane itself, the machine itself, but a lot of training. What we demonstrate already is the airplane is capable to do the job. From the machine point of view, from performance and flying qualities, the airplane can do the job. Now, when you launched the program, there was a lot of talk about it being perfect for Africa and for the emerging markets. Is that still the case? When we, when we first designed the airplane, we designed the airplane to, be, to have a variety of missions. We see the airplane, if you take the Italian Air Force case, for example, where we have the 345 as the basic trainer and the 346 as the advanced trainer. We see at Leonardo, we see our combination of two jets, 345 and 346, as the ideal learning curve to bring a pedestrian to be a fighter pilot, is the way of calling it. So we believe the ideal combination is to have two jets and to bring the pilot to the highest possible skill level. At the same time, being a versatile machine, the 345 can be also an airplane that can do the dual role activity, being also a light fighter airplane. In some being so, the airplane can deliver services for very sophisticated air forces and also very basic requirements for some air forces. So we see a big potential for markets like Africa, South America, Far East, but we also see airplanes, we are competing in Canada, for example, with a 345, which is, which is a very strong requirement for a basic trainer. Now, as a business aviation fan, I was very interested in the unusual choice of the Williams engines. Now, they are very, very efficient, and I would imagine they're pretty good for the operating costs as well. Yeah, we, 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 uh, we do believe that 345 with the Williams engines is kind of disruptive in a way, but at the same time, we are giving back to the Air Forces the energy that the Air Forces used to have with the jet trainers. If you remember in the past, all basic trainers were jet trainers. And then they moved for true blocks because of the cost of the fuel, the cost of the operation of a jet engine. What happened also in the executive jet is that they moved from turbo blocks to jets. If you want to buy a small executive airplane today, you will pay less and you will spend less money to fly a two jet engine airplane for six, eight passengers rather than turbo prop, small airplane. 
So what we are putting together, we are, we are keeping the 345 as a very basic platform. And the engine is a combination of new materials, new maintenance concepts, a very low cost of maintenance, and a low fuel consumption, very low fuel consumption. Our target is to be competitive against turboprops.